Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So this video is kind of serious. It's based off of a serious topic as you can probably tell by the title. So I'm going to be talking about what I have experienced whilst I was at the Ariana Grande show in Manchester and I'm gonna give you like tips and how I've dealt with it and I'm just gonna give proof that I was there like this isn't enough for some people like I've already been accused of lying so like I'm gonna have to give proof if I open snapchat and go to the memories then this is how it's proof that I've not just saved these videos It was a really good night by the way, like it was a really good concert and it's just like the ending that was like bad obviously. So she just finished singing Dangerous Woman and walked off and me and Maddie who was there with me at the time sat like stayed sat in our seats because we wanted everyone to leave before us so that we weren't caught in the like and we wanted to leave, let everyone leave before us so that we weren't caught in like the crowd that was going. So we stayed in our seats in the arena. Um, we were just talking about how good the show was. And then, um, and then obviously we heard a bang. At first, we wasn't sure what it was because from where we were sat it wasn't deafening because of like loud mu music that was just playing but then everyone we looked down and everyone was running so in my head I was like oh my god this is not happening but then another part of me was like oh it could have been something else of course then me and Maddie decided to start walking out instead of waiting for everyone else and we got out of our seats and out, out a little bit. So we was in where the merch would be, like still in the arena. And we was walking and we stood to the side because obviously we didn't want to get caught up in the crowd again. And um, one of the staff came up to us and was like, sorry, you've got to evacuate the building. And, and then we was like, this is serious then it would be evacuated so we started walking again and i looked to the side because i could smell smoke and then i just saw loads of smoke coming out of the doors and i was like okay this was definitely a bomb once we got outside of the arena i called my mom and she had run into the arena because she thought that I was still inside um, and luckily I called her just before she went to the Victoria station side of the arena so then she ran back out of the entrance that she went into and then came and got me and Maddie so obviously we started walking away well not walking like basically running away from the arena because my mum had told me that she had heard the loudest bang and the, the floor had like shook and this was from the outside of the arena i recorded some videos um it can be distressing to watch so skip ahead if you really want So yeah, you can hear the sirens, you can hear my mum shouting in them, you can just hear the panic and although I had seen smoke, I had heard the bang, it didn't hit me until I got in the car and it came on the radio, 
people started to message me and then aftershock so obviously I still think about it every day but the way I've kind of been dealing with it is to talk to people because talking is the best thing to do in any type of situation that could be like this I took one and a half days off of school I think yeah one and a half um, um, I cried for like maybe a week straight because I just couldn't handle what happened but in that week I was talking to a lot of people and I'm gonna get into them in a minute so that's basically like the story but on Twitter I asked for some questions to be asked about this and I'm gonna answer them from personal Casey said was it crowded when everyone was trying to get out um yes it was very crowded um obviously like I said me and Maddie stood to the side and we kind of like waited because it at the time it wasn't really clicking so we just wanted everyone to get out before us so then it started to get really crowded and then that's when we had to like go and then Casey again said how did you react when you heard the bomb going off well at the time I was scared like no one wants to hear a loud bang um, but also I had I didn't really fully know what it was the next question by Casey again how did you get home and did you go to school the next day if so how did you feel and did people say anything to you um I got home by car because my dad picked us all up yeah I did go to school the next day but it was for half of the day I really did not want to go in like I went in crying but I had to go in because I had an English exam so it was like um I have to do the exam and the teacher marked me down by the way because I did it all wrong but like people at school didn't really say much um I got into tutor people gave me hugs and said are you okay um asked me what happened and that was about it not much was said other than are you sure you want to stay in school but then obviously I went home Abby says what was the first thing you thought when everyone began to panic the first thing I thought was well first thought was what's happening and why why is everyone panicking because I didn't really understand and sorry I don't know your name but it's young Gunther at Brock 5s five, at Brock 5 Savage and he or she says how do you feel about the bombing and was it terrifying just to be there? Glad you're okay, love you. I love you too. Um, I still feel sad that it happened. And yeah, it was terrifying to be there and like, I wish it didn't happen, but obviously you can't stop these things. Dolly, Dolly said, what have you learnt about it slash took away from it? By the way, I'd like to say I'm really proud of you for being strong and supported. Um, thank you. And um, what I've learned and took away from it is that as bad as as much as you wouldn't like to hear this is that nowhere is really safe, and that. Even when people don't seem like they can be there for you, they really are there for you and everyone can just come together and love even when such a bad thing like this happens. 
And then Ben says, did you think it was a terrorist attack at first? And I'm so proud of us making it through this together. And, and Ben, not, at first, I didn't really. Um, back to Ben's, yeah, I'm proud of us too. So, yeah, that's all the questions and story. And now, I'd like to thank a whole bunch of people. Obviously, I would like to thank Maddie, who's just always been here. Um, I'd like to thank Ben, because he, at school, is so, so supportive and he gives a lot of good advice. I'd like to thank Freya, for just being kind during all of this and just being here. I'd like to thank Beth, because she was... She's been here too, and I love them all. And now, I'd like to thank everyone in the Danger Woman group chat. Everyone on this group chat has been so kind, so su supportive, and just so helpful all the time. And I think without these people, I wouldn't even be filming this video, to be honest. They're all just so kind, and they've helped me and just everyone in the group chat we've all helped each other through so much and i'd like to give a big thank you to you all now and i love you and now to the names i'd like to thank katie lily eve lucy natalie holly lydia um at salt x wine well yeah you don't have a name but that's your app Chloe, Tarima, Hannah, James, Courtney, Abby, Jess, Ellie, Kyle, Holly, Jaden, Alba, Jamie, Sammy, Wix, I think, Tasha, Hannah, M, which is at Gentoo Grande, um, at Arianeta, Ever 93, Eva or Ava, Sophie, Laura, L, which is L Bells. I'm sorry if I'm like murdering everyone's names. Megan, Elise, Courtney, Charlotte, um, at Camby, Ross, you were not on what you want. Um, Tasha S and Georgia those people are all so supportive and they were all there too so we could we all just share what happened we share our problems we just help each other through everything and I appreciate everyone who's just been there and supportive I hope in some way this video has helped and um, if you want leave a comment leave a like and subscribe and yeah i really hope this has helped for some people i just wanted to put my story and stuff out there so yeah this is all the merch i got by the way poster t-shirt and two bands yeah maybe i'll do Maybe one day I'll post all of the videos that I took on that night. But for now, this is it and I hope it helped. And I'll see you another day. Bye. Oh, I forgot to mention in the video. On this poster, it got ripped whilst I was running. It's also very crinkled.